Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to another episode of Juan is Cooking. Today we're going to make orange chicken. Yes, orange chicken. <laughs> Sorry, I got confused because we're making at the same time two videos, one showing how to make the orange sauce and in this one how to make the orange chicken. So anyway, so this is my daughter Isabella. She just came to visit us for a week and this is her favorite dish. She used to call me that I really, really need the recipe because she used to go to, uh, well, I don't know if I can say names, but she used to go, well, I'm going to say what, <laughs> short story. She used to go to the kids to, uh, well, to the store. Let's call it the grocery store and buy the, uh, buy the um, sauce already made. And then she used to go to Chick-fil-A and buy chicken nuggets. And then she used to, you know, make it, but she liked it that way. Oh, and then, or take well, it home. I didn't know any better. Yeah. Well, she used to take it home and then she used to chop onions and add veggies and then the rice. rice. So, so yeah, it was cute, but hey, it worked, right? So it did the job. So this is how we're going to do it. So I'm going to focus on this video on how to actually make the chicken. If you want more details in the sauce, there's another video. It's called Asian Orange Sauce. I call it Asian Orange Sauce because what if what if you want to make an orange sauce from Russia? Hey, what if I want to add vodka to it? You know? So that's why. I don't know. I don't know if it's politically correct, correct to call it Asian uh, Orange Sauce. Anyway, anywho, so we have the ingredients here for our sauce. In the video shows, it's orange, orange juice, vinegar, sugar, lemons, uh, orange zest, soy sauce, chili paste, ginger and garlic, um, cornstarch, and cilantro for garnish. Uh, so go ahead, pretty much you add all the ingredients into the pot, you boil it, and then you add the cornstarch and make it thick. That's it. It's very simple. In the video, you'll, sh you'll see quantities and time of cooking and all that. So first to make the orange chicken, you want to get nice or uh, chicken breast. You know, they are your grocery store. You, you can buy it already clean and trim, uh, or you can just buy it and trim it at, what, yourself. You can also find it already in strips or whatever. Uh, if you buy the breast, just make sure you cut it in bite sizes. Um, I like actually, not only bite sizes, I like mine that are two bite sizes, <laughs> a little bigger, yeah. but it's up to you. So for the, to make the chicken, you want to make sure is you want to deep fry it, but you don't want to just deep fry it. You want to put some love into it. So you want to bread the chicken with some flour. Uh, actually, this is just flour, but you might find recipes online that they tell you to use cornstarch instead of flour, or a mix, half and half, of cornstarch and flour. It's up to you. I actually don't have enough cornstarch, so I'm going to use just flour. Uh, actually, just cornstarch, it makes it better. It makes it more... Cornstarch is lighter than flour. But hey, this is, this is the, 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 the uh, art of cooking with common sense. Um, so, whatever. Uh, but then also, to make chicken, to make sure the, the flour sticks to the chicken, you want to add egg. So you crack your eggs, beat your eggs, and then put the, the chicken, some seasoning. I'm going to use salt and pepper, half and half. Uh, if you don't like pepper, you just use salt, but you want to add something to it, to the flour. Okay, I'm going to show you really quick how to cut your chicken. Uh, your chicken breast, um, sometimes it comes really nice and clean. If not, you want to inspect your chicken for any fat or like this one. So in this case, this chicken, I don't know if you can see this vein. You don't want to just cut your chicken in pieces. I mean, the idea is to cut your chicken in pieces, bite sizes. But before you do that, you want to make sure you clean it. Um, this fat is very important. This line is, 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 is gross and, and it's chewy and you don't want anybody to eat that. So the way I do it is you shove your knife under and then you pull, follow it and then pull out and then you grab it and then you follow it. Uh, it's just hard with gloves on, but 
and then you just remove that bane. That's trash. Um, and then if you see any fat, you just with the knife stake it out and then cut it. Some people like that. That, that a little bit of fat is okay. Then what I do is I just cut it in pieces. So the way I do it, the chicken breast has a big piece, a thick piece, and a thin piece. So I just cut the thin one first. And then I kind of like start shaping the chicken, finding the, uh, made, trying to make it all the pieces the same size. So I, now that I have kind of like a square rectangle, I'm just going to cut it in pieces. And then I kind of like look, okay, say, okay, this is good for two, okay. So I'm going to cut it now in half. Maybe this one in threes. So half, so we have one, two, three good size pieces. This one is good, that one is perfect, that one, two. This one, this one actually in, in half too. But sometimes you want to cut it in threes because it's too thick, too big. And then this piece, the same, you just inspect the chicken. I left a little bit of fat. And then maybe here. And then this one, perfect. And we have one, two pieces, and then you want to turn the last one. Into the so that's it. That you previously added Again. Salt and the pepper. You want to make sure you coat all your chicken with the flour. Uh, if you need to add more flour, uh, it's nice to have a helper like my daughter and if you if you add more flour don't for, forget to add more salt and pepper or your seasoning that you like all right we're getting we're ready to cook our chicken so boo boo Little recap. So we actually cut our chicken strips, bite sizes, whatever. We wash it with our egg, egg wash. And then we put flour on it, and the flour has salt and pepper. If you need to add more more salt or pepper, it's up to you. If you need to add more flour, you know. Um, I don't like to, it doesn't matter. You don't have to coat the whole chicken with the flour. You know, it's just to give it like a flour, you know. You know what I mean, right? Yeah, like a coating. Then you have your oil. When you have your oil, it's up to you. If you have a bigger pot, I have this. I have a bigger one, but it does. Then it's hard to see. So uh, let's pray that we don't make a mistake in here. <laughs> anyway, so what you wanna do is you wanna on a pan. You wanna put a little bit of oil, and if you have a thermometer, uh, you wanna make sure it's at three hundred, like three seventy-five between three fifty and three seventy-five. This one actually, because we've been talking, it went to 400. So, but that's okay. That's okay. So, what, so we're going to start little. So, we're going to have to do probably three batches because the, the oil is hot. So, I want to make sure the oil cools down. So, what I do is I put my basket and I put the chicken. You want to make sure the chicken, you put it slowly. I mean, not slowly but but you know but you want to put it fast too you know you don't want to you want all this chicken to cook at the same time and you put it in different places like you know so they don't stick together you know you keep moving around That's probably good. So, depends on the temperature of the oil. It takes about, I'll say, seven minutes. And also depends on the, si the size of the chicken. And it's hot. So, but the chicken is helping it to cool down. So, let's see how long it takes. So, it is 7.01. Yeah. Okay, so it's been actually 7.05. So, it's actually been four, five minutes. Um... What you were looking for right now is the color of the chicken. Um, you want a nice golden color. And that's how you know it's ready. If, but if the oil is too hot, then it's going to make that color really fast. And the, internally, it's going to be raw. So the best way to know is once you see the color of the chicken, nice and brown. 
you take a piece and maybe you cut it you cut a little bit and then you take a look and it's beautiful there's no pink it's still white it's juicy mm. so that's how you learn how to look for the chicken um, and once you do this the longer then you get you get used to it oh another thing that i forgot once you drop the chicken in there like after the first minute you shake your basket so the pieces don't stick together and then um and then that's it and then you take it out let it drain a little bit and we're gonna probably have to do two more or three more batches but that's good i mean this is enough for me i can eat this in by myself so again you want to make sure the thermometer is there you want to make sure the temperature is at 350 between 350 and, and 375 when i did 400 actually i like 400 because what happens is once you put the chicken the temperature drops I was telling my daughter, I put it at 400. It was actually a 405. Okay, it's no 405. And it went down to 300. So actually it dropped the temperature on 105 degrees. So, so yeah, make sure your oil is hot, but don't put too much and make sure that your chicken or whatever you drop into the hot oil is not, doesn't have too much liquid. If, if you put a drop of water here, it's going to go crazy. That's why you put flour and you make sure you drain all the liquid. Um, so, yeah, that's it. So, uh, we're going to make keep making the chicken and we'll be right back after these commercials. We're going to keep making batches, but we're going to try it first. What I like to do is I like to try this first without any sauce. So, here, it's a piece for you, bigger piece for me. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's really good. Mm. No sauce. I just want to see. Well, let me eat and then we cut. Okay, I'm back. Mm. So I like to taste it without sauce, so I learn does it need more flour, does it need more salt, more pepper, you know. Okay. Um, okay, so now we have our sauce. We made our sauce earlier. There's a video, there's a link in there that you can watch the whole thing. But our sauce is ready. So we add a little bit of sauce, but well, not a little bit. You put it on a bowl. Mm, you smell it? Yeah. Ah. Mm. And we're going to try it. Piece for Boo Boo, piece for me. And the oil needs 150 degrees. So, well, this is just to eat, but at the end we're going to show how you put presented on a plate with some of that orange zest and the cilantro or green onion so pick one i'll let you pick boo boo long one and a skinny one or a fat one and thick long and skinny long and skinny that's really really awesome hmm. way better than my chick-fil-a made Man. Okay, so that's it, Boo Boo. What do you think? It was so good. So yes, it was really good. So this is it. You can serve it like that, and everybody gets. I actually made a rice. We love rice, so it's good. People get to serve their own rice, chicken. Um, so yes, like a little recap here. Important: clean your chicken, season your chicken with the flour and salt and pepper and deep fry it make sure your fryer has enough oil but too, not too much so it doesn't overflow and um 
If you have a fryer, one of those uh, machines, you can actually make it there too. You just put the flour and then put it in there and follow the settings. And it's healthier because then you won't be using the oil from, the, you know, the deep fryer. Um, but that's it. Very important. I didn't know. I, I, I mean, I usually make it with orange juice. I kind of skip the lemons, the orange zest part. But important. I'm never going to stop doing it without yeah. the orange zest. It's just the flavor. Oh, my God. It just kisses kiss you in the face. Oh, like, oh, you know. So... That's it. Thank you again for watching. I hope you learned something new today. And thank you, Boo Boo, for coming to see us. Um, and don't forget to subscribe, like, share, tell people. Uh, you know, if you ever think about a recipe, just go find it. If you want me to make something, send me an email on the contacts page, whatever, or the comments. Maybe I can make it, you know. Uh, we'll figure it out together. Um, so, yes, thank you for watching. And... I'm just going to get another piece, the last piece. Get one, boo boo. Cheers. Oh, she just turned 21. So, cheers. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> better every time. Mm. So good. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>